Hello divas, dudes, and dolls. I'm Kira Couture, and welcome back to my quick, quaint, and quippy little review show, Very Slay, where we go over each and every main stage runway look on Drag Race UK Series 6. At least y'all get a mug today. I'm on my way out the door pretty soon here to go to a gig that I don't really want to go to. But I figured while I'm in face, I might as well knock one of these out. So this week we had the season's first design challenge and before the challenge really even got super far off the ground, we had to say goodbye to Saki Yu due to an injury. And I am so sad about it because her look in the first episode had me really excited to see more things from her. I've seen some mixed information about her being offered an open spot on series seven, if that's the case. I hope she takes it and I hope we get to see her really do her thing and thrive because I really enjoy her aesthetic a ton. So with this first design challenge, the queens were tasked with making a cohesive collection of three looks that contain a cocktail party dress, a boss lady look, and a red carpet gown. All four of these collections are based off of random shit that you could get out of a room in RuPaul's house allegedly. We had our four different houses. We we're going to go through them house by house, talk about each of these looks. For those who have never watched the show before, when I go over a look, if I think it got the job done, met the brief, but didn't blow me away, we give it an okay. If I thought it closed the deal and really knocked it out of the park, we give it a slay. And if I think it should have foreclosed on this diva, we give it an A. And it's all in efforts to find my weekly slate of the day, my favorite look from every episode, which at the end of this video will go head to head against our current ranked slate of the season, which is Marmalade's promo look. Whichever look comes out on top when we've crowned a new winner at the end of the season, I will make an illustration of at some point. If you want to get full discussions on like drama and things of the episode in full, that can be found over on my Patreon for free. Sketches of Slay this season art and anything else I decide to do artistically and sneak peeks of things coming down the pipeline, you can get over on Patreon as well, but you have to join a tier for that. I gotta make you pay a little bit for stuff like that, you know? Anywho, let's dive on into all 11 of these looks, shall we? Starting off with the House of Cards collection, this was the game room themed group. We have Zahira Zapanta's cocktail dress. The dress itself, it's a tube dress. It's really basic, which, I mean, it got the job done. It's like a safe, fine look, but I do think it's a little too safe, a little too fine. And the little drapey bit off of the back of the dress that she just kind of like detached it onto with these cards and the poker chips, I don't think it was super effective. I do like the poker chip earrings, that's cute at least. I think it kind of the vibe she was going for, but it was just not impressive to me. But I also don't think it's horrible. Like it looks good on her, it's just really middle of the road. And I think a middle of the road look warrants just an okay. Then with our boss lady look out of this collection, we have Kyran Thrax. The poker chip pasty, cute. I liked the lining in the sleeves being cards and the card tie and the shirt on this, I actually really liked. I liked how 80s it was. I liked the ruching in the sleeves. The collar up close is really, really messy, but they were given a day, so I'm not expecting miracles, especially when Kyran is not a sewer. But I think the skirt is all kinds of wrong for this look either. It should have been a high-waisted pant or it should have been like a pencil skirt and doing the full skirt in this fabric it's a weird proportion and i think it looks kind of dowdy i just did not like it at all it's also okay for me and then closing this collection we have octavia in the red carpet look the wig is awful I, I do like the consistent poker chip jewelry and accessories that all three of them have. I will say that's a good thing. The top of this actually isn't that bad to me, like the cape bit and the fabric work around the breast line. However, I don't like the card treatment for the corset with what it's trying to do. I don't think it achieves the desired effect. It makes your proportions look really, really wonky. It's not well paneled. And then the cut of the little panty moment. That ain't hiding nothing. That's what I like to call a peekaboo panty because you can just pull it over and go peekaboo. You know, in a normal context, it's not good. It doesn't fit right. It's not even. It's slipping off to the side. No. This is easily the worst look of the three. This is an A. When we get into the House of Mirrors collection, this one only has two because Saki departed the competition. With the boss lady look, we have Dita Garbo. I don't like this either. I don't think anything about this reads as like executive wear. Maybe she's like a club diva or something. Maybe she's a boss lady cocor. I don't know, but I just don't like this. I don't think the cut of the skirt is flattering. I wish I had just hit the knee 
and not gone past the knee because it makes the bottom half of her legs look really short and then it throws the whole proportions of everything else a little out of whack. I don't really care for the cut of the top with this. It's basically just a bra with a jacket. It's not great. I like the clutch. I like the clutch. But the rest of this is just like not impressive. I wish there had been a little bit more detailing in the jacket, a little more structure, but it's it's like low safe, but for me it is an A. And then we have Relisa in her little red carpet look, and my god, again, she's just Rihanna. The strip is Rihanna. I love the headpiece with this, I love the little turban. I didn't realize that this fabric had this like almost fuzzy, fringy stuff on top of it. I really don't like that. Just on the texture standpoint, I don't think it looks very good. But the jewelry works for me. The styling of this, I think, is really great. I think it does very much read as like a Studio 54 reference point. I don't think it's awful. I do appreciate that her clutch is silver with a mostly purple look, whereas Dita's is a silver with a purple clutch. Relisa definitely had the best look out of the two. For me, this is a soft sleigh. Then we have the House of Southern McCartney. I was starting off with this cocktail party dress. We have Charity. She's given linebacker. I don't like linebacker drag where it's really, really big shoulders and the silhouette just does not really do anything beyond that. And it's mostly just the cut of the skirt. Her body looks great here. I think a lot of it is the fact that it's a mutton sleeve that is like off the shoulder and the length of where the sleeve starts is not even. Had it been in a little bit more, I think she could have gotten away with it. But it's really ill-fitting through here just because the the sleeves that should start like at the shoulder are starting a little bit past the shoulder. It looks like it's not sized properly for her. I wish the skirt had just been a couple of inches longer. I know the skirt being so short was part of the gimmick of it. The little panty popping out there, but I just wish it had been longer because I, it's just personally an aesthetic thing. I don't really like visible panties on drag. I, I think your skirt should just be long enough to cover it, but it's fine, it's okay. Then our boss lady look, we have Lavoie. I, I do wish there had been a little more silhouette to this, but I actually don't really mind this that much. It is kind of giving me Joan Collins and Dynasty, some of the faces she pulled on this runway, and especially through the shoulders and like the little turban piece. It really gives me that like 1980s sense of businesswoman. Not really sure why she has the leopard paws, unless she's trying just to be artistic, but I don't think it was necessary. I think had she gotten rid of that detail, it would have been just fine. I do wish there had been like a little more on the skirt, maybe like a peplum or something, just to like add a little bit more shape. Other than that, I think the skirt length is right, and I think it's a very age appropriate look that is in line with her aesthetic. But at the same time, again, not overly impressive, so I'm gonna give it an okay. And then we have in her red carpet look, Kiki Snatch. I know a diva. This is putting La La Ree's bag dress to shame. None of the fabrics match anything that the other people in her collection did, other than like, she has black. Whoop de doo The jewelry, I think, looks nice. The makeup looks great. The hair color's gorgeous. And I also think I have these exact same pumps, but other than that, my God, this was far and away the worst look out of the whole episode. And she is so lucky that Saki had to leave the way she did because no offense to her, but mama, this is garbage. This is a nay, absolutely. This is one of the worst looks I think we've ever had on Drag Race UK, bar none. Then our final collection, the House of Zen, clearly the best of the group because all of the seamstresses were put in the same group. Starting off our little cocktail party dress with Chanel O'Connor. I think the headpiece is really cute. It's a really lovely little fascinator shape. I love the textile work and how that was brought in as well. The other accessories. And this is another one who I'm like, oh, I have this because I have this necklace too. It's sitting right next to me actually as I'm filming this. I think that she probably could have gotten away with the original silhouette she had wanted to do. But I also don't think that she isn't smart for listening to Rue. The one thing that drives me a little crazy is that the necklace is really long and dangly and she has it over the top of the dress. I wish she had done a different necklace altogether, in all honesty, so that way you could just really let the draping in that part of the garment really shine. They got lucky, they had good prints to work with that, that you could really actually do something nice with. The little drapey bit on the shoulder that kind of echoes Marmalade's gown, I think is a smart idea. Overall, I thought this was a great look. This is the sleigh. I will say, 
I know she says that she gets told she comes across bitchy, but I'm not the biggest fan of her attitude uh, this episode. I think had it just been a normal challenge, you could have argued that the top two realistically were her and Marmalade, and Lilith was like that high placement. However, because of the circumstances and them making it a three-way lip sync for the win, it came down to who did the best in the lip sync. And Chanel and Marmalade, neither one I thought did particularly amazing. Lil did pretty good. So Lil got the win because of the lip sync and that's gonna cause drama. And I also think that's partially why they made it a top three because they knew <laughs> that if they gave Lil the win, it would cause drama with Chanel the next week. So production maybe had a hand in that. Who knows? Then with Lil's boss lady look, it's very Marlena Dietrich and Madonna. I think that's a really apt description for this whole look. I love it. I love the fabric so much for the suit. I think the tailoring on this looks really nice. I love a wide leg pant. I love them incorporating a label onto the purse just to like really make it feel a little more upscale. To me, this look, it does look very expensive. Out of the whole episode, I think it is one of the more well-finished pieces. Chanel really knocked it out of the park on making it. I think realistically, it's the way she performed it, the way she carried it, and the accessorizing that really tied it all in and made it really successful. Enough to push it into that top slot as well. For me, it's my least favorite of the three, but it is also very strong, so I'm gonna give it a slide. And then finally we have Marmalade and her red carpet look. And I mean, the drape on everything in this, exceptional. The hairstyle, wonderful. The makeup, incredible. The whole thing is so old Hollywood. It's so old fashioned illustration. She looks like she could have been just like peeled off of an old illustrated Vogue cover flipped out into a third dimension and pushed out on the runway. This is immaculate, I love it. The only problem I had with it was when she was walking back off the runway, one of the little sleeve thingies fell off. So I think there was just some construction issues that could have just been due to them not having enough time to really finesse it in full scale. But the way this move is fucking gorgeous. And I'm not at all surprised that she made something that was this level of glamorous and this level of polished given the time frame. So for me, this is a slay. And with that, it's now time to pick my slave of the day, my favorite look of the whole episode. And I think we're gonna have to do something a little bit out of the ordinary this week. Instead of giving my slave of the day to my individual favorite look, which I would say normally would also be a marmalade, I think given this challenge and the nature of it, I think I'm gonna give my slave of the day to the entire house of Zen, all three of them, Chanel, Lil, and Marmalade. I think they are all deserving of that honor this week because they were miles ahead of everyone else like they were in another country as everyone else was like down the street so just exceptional work from these three and i think and i think i could create something really really pretty like illustration wise incorporating all three designs into one piece so we'll just have to see if that holds out on the top spot because i will say this now that is going to unseat Marmalade's promo look as my current slave of the season. Who knows what will happen? Who knows what look will come out on top next? And if it will unseat the whole house of Zen. But we will find out next time in another episode of Very Slay for Drag Race UK season six. That doesn't rhyme, but I wish it did. Anyways, be sure as always to like, comment, subscribe, all those lovely little things. We are well on our way to a thousand subscribers and it's a free way to support the content, a free way to support the doll. And be sure y'all to go out there, stay kind, stay clear, and make sure that your day is very slay.